I have to admit, it's nice sometimes just spacing out. Everyone could use a break here and there. You look happy. I am, now that we understand the potential of spy rights. And it's all because Jude wouldn't give up. I'm all like, yeah, take that, world! Jude can really do great things when he tries. I always knew that he could! <laughs> They're just as happy with his success as if it were their own. I completely understand their sentiment, though. Jude had never been the type to lead the way. But this time, he chose a path and followed it through. It's always good to see positive growth. I wonder whose influence that was. One thing's for sure, it certainly wasn't yours. Oh? Haven't you ever heard of reverse psychology? Teaching by bad example? At least your humility makes a fine example. It's good to see everyone upbeat for a change. Yes! When did my hands get so covered with blisters and scars? Ah, that's quite a layer of calluses forming around your knuckles. Yeah, probably from all the people I've hit. Didn't you want to be a doctor? That's kind of ironic. Do you regret this? <sighs> no, these calluses are proof that I'm striving to do the things I need to do. That's the spirit! They prove you're no quitter! A man's hands always reflect the path he's walked in life. You have the hands of a true man. Your calluses are the coolest! I'm going to keep fighting until I have calluses too! <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. The hill where Balin found us was just past Helioborg Fortress. Let's take a look. Maybe we'll find a clue that will help us get back. Olympias doesn't seem to be any greener out this way. Nope. Pretty much everywhere outside the cities is like this. If anything, it's a little worse than I remember it. The lack of spirits must have broken the cycle of nature. To the people of Olympias, this is what nature looks like. When I first laid eyes on the forests of Rizamaxia, I could barely comprehend what I was seeing. So this is the world that Spyrix has given you. Go ahead and say it. We brought this on ourselves. That may be true, but still... Stay alert, everyone! At one! Got it! Cut fire! Inferno Here we go! Focus! Right on point! Hmm, should have gone a little easier. Even great warriors can't fight on an empty stomach. Of course, nor are they very effective when they're drowsy after a big meal. I wish we didn't have to fight, but we must. Yes, all right. Ha, 
Let me make sure I have this straight. We use boosters to infuse spirit fossils with mana, and then a spyrite is born. Because unlike Spyrix devices, spyrites can use arts without harming spirits. Did you actually take notes while Balin was talking? Yes, but there are still things I don't understand. If there are things you actually do understand, then you're way ahead of me. I bet Tipo'd say, Hey, you need to study, Leia! Ah, but after that, he'd probably say, I don't understand any of this either. <laughs> probably. Hey, no Tipo impersonations! Ah, he heard us! You're both being rude! Elise, do you understand Spyrite theory? Of... of course I do. The name's Alvin, and don't you forget it. Thank you. 
He said he found us sprawled at the foot of this hill. Let's look for a path down. What's that? We must have fallen from there to the bottom of the cliff. Isn't the rift a little small? My guess is it's about to collapse. Jumping back through would be a leap of faith. Count me out! It looks too dangerous! Let's head back to town and figure out another way. Hey, everyone. If you plan on returning to Risa Maxia, then I think it's time we parted ways. What? What makes you say that all of a sudden? I know that we pulled off a successful Spyrite tethering together, and we found out some great news. But I'm afraid the only way to stop Gaius at this point is to fight him. I don't want the way you feel now to get in the way of your true feelings. I agree. If we can't be honest with ourselves about why we're fighting, then there's no point in fighting in the first place. In other words, you want us to make our own decision. It'll be a difficult ride ahead. I guess it only makes sense. <sighs> Mind if I have some more time to think? At least until you're all ready to leave? Sure, of course. Don't let your current emotions get in the way. <laughs> I'm almost acting human. Mila? Sorry, it's nothing. Wait, isn't this... There's no way replacing everything Spyrix with Spyrites is going to be easy as it sounds. In terms of raw numbers, just think of how many Spyrites we'll need. It's true. The Spyrites need to be researched, created, distributed. It won't happen overnight. There is much that needs to be done. But if we can't buy more time, the spirits will go extinct. I will buy us time. Maxwell said it himself. If we remove the schism, the mana that it contains could sustain Olympias for a considerable amount of time. And that's what you intend to do? Yes, it is. It's a long road ahead for all of us. But the more pressing problem is Gaius. If we can't stop him, it'll be too late for Olympias. Yeah.